as uh, today. And uh, we should actually organize these sessions because they cut across my ministry, Ministry of Education, um, all other ministries that are responsible for training in this country. Uh, so we need to have these sessions more often uh, because from this session, personally, I've seen several policy interventions. And from this session, now I can know how to articulate some of the issues. But the whole day, I've had several sessions, starting from 7 o'clock, we had another meeting at 10, then we had another one at 12, and 3, and this one here now. But the central point that is coming out in all the meetings is that in as much as we are working so hard to develop infrastructure, infrastructure in this country, there is need to start talking very seriously how that infrastructure is going to be used. And the people that we need to talk to, you are the people we need to talk to. Then I've seen several gaps. Having been a lecturer for several years at the university, I see several gaps, and I've not seen those gaps being addressed in the Ministry of Education. Because you see the engineers here having ideas, and they're not taking those ideas forward. The problem has been our system, whereby the engineers, from day one, they start with mathematics, engineering, and whatever, and they go. Most other countries, you get to do these technical courses in the third year, after you have gone through philosophy, sociology, business, entrepreneurship, then now you get to specialize in your area. The reason being that you would at least know what is profit and what is loss, because most of the enterprises in this country that I started, they die. That has been my work, studying entrepreneurship in this country. They start, they die. 